Here are this week's prayer concerns. We are praying for someone currently in hospice. We are praying for someone and for the family members of that someone dealing with leukemia. We're praying for someone who is looking for a job, who needs employment. We're praying for a couple dealing with family issues and for a relative of theirs dealing with serious back issues. Tony and Becky Mangus ask us to join them in praying for someone who has suffered a broken pelvis, someone else who is suffering serious health problems, and yet a third person who is currently in a nursing home and has suffered a stroke. We're also praying for someone and for the family members of that someone suffering serious kidney issues. And of course, we're praying for all those the world round who are fighting COVID-19 and for the healthcare workers, the doctors and nurses, everyone in healthcare who are working beside those patients, trying to give them every chance for recovery. We have some celebrations. We have been praying for someone recovering from eye surgery, and we have very good news about that. We should celebrate, too, that the COVID vaccines have been approved, several of them, and in fact are uh, starting to be distributed and starting to be administered. We have no illusion that this is a quick fix to the pandemic, but it certainly is a good turn of events, something to celebrate. And talking about something to celebrate, Jim and Melanie, you guys are so fantastic. They celebrate. Now, if this was a birthday, there would be 55 flaming candles on top of their cake. But even better, it is their anniversary, the day after Christmas, 55 years as man and wife. The Rileys have been you guys are absolutely awesome. 